In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you could deploy apps to your devices, specifically an iOS device. It's a somewhat limited feature, but we're going to go ahead and show you. Here on my admin workstation, I've already downloaded an app, and I have done this as my Apple ID. And over on my client computer, where I'm looking at my iPad, I'm going to go into full screen mode. And here, I want to show you that in the iCloud settings, it's the same Apple account. And that's important. If that's not the case, then the app that we're going to deploy is not going to work. So you have to purchase the app with the same account. So I'm going to now switch back over here to my admin workstation, bring up Safari. And we'll go to our URL for our Profile Manager web app. Remember to type in the Profile Manager part of the URL. Log in as an admin user. And if this is the first time you're logging in on your admin station to your main Open Directory server, you're going to have to accept the certificate. Now we want to choose how we're going to manage this app. Are we going to manage it to one device, to a device group, to a user, or some groups? I'm going to pick a device, and in this case, it's going to be my iPad. And I'm going to click on the Apps tab. And now down here, there is a gear where we can lock that device, clear the password, wipe it. We're going to click on Edit Apps. And then normally you would click on Upload, but we've got to find the app before we can upload it. So I'm going to switch back over here by clicking on it to iTunes, switch over to your apps, and then right click on the icon and then choose to show it in the Finder. Now we have it in the Finder, we can more easily upload that. So I'm going to click back over here to my Safari, click on Upload. And now just drag and drop this remote IPA file into that window and choose it. It's going to take a little while to upload. When that's done, click on Add, and that will add it to this particular profile for this device. And then when I click Save, it's going to push this out to the device. We'll switch back over and see what's on my iPad. So we get a message that the server rock1foamingrocks.com is about to install the app remote and your iTunes account will not be charged for this app. Isn't that nice of them to tell us? So we tap on install and the app will slowly download and we'll be able to use it when it is finished. When the app is finished downloading and is installed, I'm gonna tap on the app, which is remote, and it's going to ask me for my Apple ID password in order to run that application. So not exactly the simplest situation. If you were going to deploy this out to an entire group, systems would have to have the same Apple ID, and that's just not really manageable usually within an organization of any major size. So you can determine whether this is going to be beneficial for your organization. Just remember that iOS does download over-the-air apps from the App Store should you purchase them on your Mac or on another iOS device.